$5 million. Hal Eisner in downtown L.A. Hal, in about, what, 20 minutes or so, they'll be coming over from the jail. Yeah, we expect all this to start somewhere around 8.30. Up there on the fifth floor of the Criminal Courts Building, Department 30, our Gigi Graciette is inside the courtroom right now, and uh, she'll be coming out after the arraignment telling us exactly sort of what was going on inside there uh, where these charges are, are being leveled against uh, Mayor Oscar Hernandez, former city manager Robert Rizzo, three city council members, and three other former top officials, the district attorney, charging them with illegally obtaining fat salaries. Here's how he put it. This, needless to say, is uh, uh, corruption on steroids. The complaint alleges they used the tax dollars collected from the hardworking citizens of Bell as their own piggy bank, which they then looted at will. Tough words from District Attorney Steve Cooley. Charges against former Bell City Manager Robert Rizzo, arrested at his Huntington Beach home, and seven others who are or were top city officials. Uh, the charges include misappropriation of more than $5.5 million in funds for all of them. For Rizzo specifically, there are 53 counts, including conflict of interest and falsification of public records. Because this has been such a high-profile case, one might expect Rizzo's attorney to ask for a change of venue. He says he really doesn't think so. To tell you the truth, I would actually look forward to the citizens of Bell sitting on a jury for Mr. Rizzo to explain how he helped them through his efforts. This is not a case where Mr. Rizzo wants to hide among strangers. Jen Spertus, the attorney for Rizzo, insists that public records not widely available will provide some, some backing up for Rizzo's claim about annual compensation, which hit $1.5 million, that it was legally considered and approved. As for the timing of all of this, Rizzo's attorney says it's all time to generate publicity for Steve Cooley, who is running for attorney, uh, attorney general here in California. But of course, again, right now, the, the most immediate thing is this arraignment. It's scheduled for around 8.30. You never know with the way these dockets go. Again, Gigi Graciette up there on the fifth floor in Department 30, and we'll, we'll be hearing from her, and we'll be back to you as this thing proceeds this morning. Steve? Hal Eisner, we will get back to you. Thank you so much. Lawyers for both Frank and Jamie McCord have a